Uh, I live in the, in the LA area and it just happened that my wife and I had a house full of people last night for a potluck dinner, about 20 people. And one of them, actually he's the guy in front of me holding the bullhorn, his name is Ugo. He, he had found out about the fact that the Klan was supposedly going to uh, arrive here today. And he told all of us. And then uh, about one, two, three, four, at least four, four of us who was there, but five, decided we had to come down here today. Uh, we had other plans, but sometimes uh, one has to change one's plans when racist scum announce that they're going to be present and anti-racists have to decide you got to react to that as uh, the previous speaker just said racism means you got to fight back and uh while i was here uh this morning over the past hour or a little more i've met several people who did the same thing they had other plans for this morning but they changed them and they said almost to a person the same words i had to be here i had to be here and one of them told me that this is the first time that she's ever come out to a protest and i found uh, all of that uh, i had to be here and this is the first time i've ever come out to a protest very inspiring I've been coming to these things for a long time, since I was a young fellow in 1964 against the Vietnam War. And sometimes people say, how can you keep doing it? And I say, because other people inspire me to keep doing it. And all of you here inspire me and others to keep doing it. Because we haven't won yet. Have we? There's a lot of racism around, and we have to combat it. And after a while, I, I happen to also be a member of this Progressive Labor Party group. I have been for over 50 years. And after a while, sometimes you have to ask yourself, why is there all this racism? Somebody's benefiting from it. People who divide the working class to make profit. They're benefiting from racism, even if some of them are black, by the way. It's not a question totally of color. It's a question of where do you, where are you in the, in the chain of production? Do you own the factories and mines and transportation, or do you have to work for them and be exploited by them? And uh, most of us are not uh, owners of major corporations, I don't think. Anybody here own a, own a major corporation? Eventually. No? Nobody? I didn't think so. Uh, and you notice we're black, we're white, we're Latino, we're Asian, but we're all members of the largest group on earth. It's called the International Working Class. There's about seven billion of them. Sometimes people ask me, Hey, Rick, who do you identify with? And I say, the international working class. And somebody says, no, 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 that's not what we mean. I mean, your wife, right? And I say, the international working class. And they say, no, 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 Rick, you don't get it. You have to identify with some particular race or ethnicity or gender or sexual orientation, 